Hi everyone, welcome to Aadhaar Shilap Medin classes. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use sensors in MIT App Inventor. The first sensor which we are going to use today is sclerometer sensor. This sensor detects the shaking and tilting of your phone. Let's start with the particular project to understand the working more. Press on start new project. Write down the project name as Port Shaker. It will open in a minute. Now this application is basically code shaker in which we are going to write 10 codes from the internet and then every time you shake your phone, you will be able to see a different code on your screen. If you are ready, we can start now. The very first thing which is required for making this particular project is the sensor. I am going to take a sclerometer sensor from the sensors category. Drag the sensor and keep it on the screen. As you can see, nothing is coming on the screen because this sensor is a non-visible component. Any component which is not visible on the screen but working in the backend is named as the non-visible component. After taking this sensor, next thing which I need to do is I will be taking one label which will tell us the heading of this particular project. I will be keeping everything in the center. So from screen, I can change the properties to align horizontal and make it to center. Now, whatever components I'm going to take, they will start coming in the center of the screen. You can do the changes as per your requirement. You can even change the alignment if required. For me, I think top will remain uh, better. So I'm keeping it on the top only. After taking this label, you have to give some uh, properties to this label. So first, I'm going to change the background color. I'll be keeping the background color as black. I will be keeping the font bold and increase the font size to 18. Now, whatever I'm going to write, it should be visible over here. So I'm going to write port shaker. As the text color is black also. So I'm going to change the text color to white. So it should be visible to us easily. Now, if you want, you can increase the height and width of your label. I'm going to keep the height here as 6% and the width over here will be fill parent. In this case, again, the thing we, we are writing inside this label is coming towards the left side. If you want to see it in the center of the screen, in the label one property itself, you will find text alignment. Keep it on the center. After completing this much, now we have to add a subtitle or sub uh, label which will help us in understanding how this application is going to work. For that, I am going to take one label. In this one, we have to mention the instruction. So I will be writing, shake your phone to get a new code. After completing this, if you want to increase the size or if you want to change the color, that's your choice. I'm keeping the font bold and I think this much is fine. I'm not going to change anything here. Lastly, we have to take one more uh, label which will help us in able to see the quotations which we want. Now this label right now needs to be blank. So I'm going to keep it blank here. It will contain the information or the quotations we will be taking from the internet. I will keep its height as 20% and I will keep the width as fill parent. I think this much space is enough for any quotation. If you find some quotations are quite lengthy and the size is not fitting over here, you can increase or decrease the height as well. Now, after completing this designing part, we have to go towards the coding area. Press on the blocks area. Now, for starting, we will be going to the accelerometer sensor and take a block which is saying when accelerometer sensor shaking. Every time your sensor will be shaking. So, I will be taking the label to see the text of this particular label 3. Now, from the list itself, I'm going to create a list of different quotations. I want that it should pick any random uh, quotations which we are going to add in the list. In that case, we can again go to the list option and we can select the option which is saying pick random item. Attach this one here and attach make a list. 
Now it's your choice how many quotations you want to add here. I will be adding 10. So we will be making the space for 10 quotations. As you can see, I have taken 10 spaces to attach my quotations. Now you will be going to the text block. Take the empty block as text here. Empty text box. Duplicate it for 10 times. Now you can take any quotations from internet. I'm going to take few quotations over here. Paste them in this area. You have to repeat the process till all the quotations are not done. Now, as you can see, we have completed all the 10 quotes which we need here. After completing this, please connect your phone to check if the application is working fine or not. Here you can see how my application is working. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to Adharshila Coding Classes.